Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem fifty-five in chapter four. Um, I really like this problems because many many years ago, when I just started these problems, I find it so difficult. I still remember it because in this case, you can see this. There are two objects: this triangle and this uh, uh small object. They both are moving, right? And then apply a force on it. So ask you what is this force is? It become difficult because there are two objects moving. I spent a lot of days on this one. I still couldn't get it. But this time, let me try and let me try to make sure I can make help you to understand it. Okay, make sense to you. First thing, it give you a hint. This hint is super important. Tell you we take x and y horizontal and vertically. But there, if you don't have this hint, you can also work out. You can see, in this system, this triangle and this uh, small object, this blue and yellow one, right? Let me let me call it blue and yellow. And then, when we act a force on it, this system just move at the same face. As uh, we can consider this uh, blue and yellow as a whole, do you agree? As uh, unified, as united, as united objects. Do you agree? Because this yellow and blue blue never moves relative to each other. They just attach together, and then they just relative. The relative velocity between them is stationary. Can you can can you accept that? Yes. So we can consider the force acting as, as this blue and yellow is unified. So on a unified object, this one. And if we want to find this force, we need to find acceleration for this whole system. This blue plus yellow, yellow. Do you agree? Yeah. And then the next thing we we need to consider is there. The blue and the yellow never move relative to each other. So the relative motion between yellow and blue is stationary. So that means the acceleration for them is the same. Do you agree? Yes. The acceleration for them is same. That means the acceleration a. For the blue is just equal to acceleration for the yellow, and also equals to the acceleration for the whole system, right? So in this one, it looks like if we can find this acceleration for this yellow object, we can find acceleration for whole object because they equal, right? And then you can see the next problem becomes we need to find this acceleration for this yellow part. And because you can see, we consider this whole part as united. That means the force acting it, there must be acceleration. Acceleration must be horizontal. Do you agree? If we consider this, there is object. This is a united object. Sure. So that means that for the small ob, for this yellow object, the acceleration is also horizontal, right? So that means we need to do the force analysis for this yellow object. First thing. Gravity, and then the normal force. Any anything else? No. So you can see we need to find acceleration horizontal. That means we need to project the normal force in horizontal, um, component and vertical component. See horizontal component, vertical component. This angle is theta. How can you decide that? You can do that, right? And in our in my previous equation, I showed you how this e this angle equals theta, and I explained why this one is theta. So you can say this theta equal to this one, so this one becomes theta. So then, at this side, nearby side, this is f one cosine theta, f one sine theta. So it's become easy. Now, can we find acceleration for this small object? Sure, because we can see at the vertically. The net force is is zero because no acceleration vertically. So f one cosine theta minus mg equals zero. In then at the horizontal level, find the net force is f one sine theta equals mass times acceleration. Mass is small m. Do you agree? Times acceleration. In, when we solve this two equation, we get acceleration is g tangent theta. See, in this time we find this acceleration for this yellow object, and this acceleration is also the For blue object, do you agree? Because the yellow and the blue just uh, uh, relatively stationary, right? They just move. We can consider them as united one. In this one, the 
the united object yellow plus the blue one is also acceleration a agree so when we want to find this force external force f must be the united object this uh, capital m plus this uh, small m then times this acceleration right this is the newton's second law use mass times acceleration and then input is acceleration then we are done simple right but you need to spend some time maybe to maybe you need to spend some time to understand the acceleration for the yellow one equals to the blue one equals to the united system thank you thank you